Ready? Okay, so at, at this EAS meeting in Madrid, um, there's been some new and very exciting data regarding treatment of patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, and that data relates to the use of monoclonal antibodies directed against PCSK9. So the results of a large trial involving about 50 patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia were presented. These patients were treated with evolocumab or previously AMG145, which is a monoclonal antibody against PCSK9. It was a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial. And what the trial essentially shows is that Evolocumab is effective in patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia as long as they have some residual LDL receptor activity. So in patients who have what we call a receptor defective state, the receptors don't work normally, but they can still work a little bit. The drug can lower LDL cholesterol by 30 to 40%. In the patients who have no receptors at all or receptor negative, this drug doesn't work. So it's not a drug for all patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, but the majority of patients, certainly in countries like South Africa, do have some residual LDL receptor activity and will therefore benefit from the use of this drug. Um, the advantage of the drug is uh, although it's an injectable drug, it is very well tolerated and it doesn't seem to have significant side effects. The two other therapeutic options that we have for patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, mypomersin and lamitapide, are effective and they don't require LDL receptors, but they have significant issues with toxicity and tolerability. And what we're going to need to learn in the future is how to best use the new drugs. Who, who must be given which drug? When do we use those drugs? What combinations are effective? So there's a lot of uh, experience we need to gather, a lot of things to learn, but certainly it's, I think, a very bright moment you know, to see this data and to see the effectiveness of this drug in these patients that are so difficult to treat.